Ice Spice X best friend Stormy, who's an artist and an influencer, is currently and proudly exposing Ice Spice. She wrote a post. The next person to be exposed will be my ex best friend Isis, or as y'all know her, Ice Spice. She continued, "The people laughing at me now will be the same ones crying later. I've been quiet for too long. I will finally speak my truth." Ice Spice is also is also Nigerian. I didn't know. I no? Her, I seen her tweet though, but I didn't know. Really? Yeah, How close she, are y'all? She never told me that though. Really? I was kind of confused too when she tweeted that. Like, she, she tell me? She's she, half. She told me her best friend was. I remember when I was talking about me being Nigerian. She was like, yeah, my best friend's Nigerian. I mean, she's Nigerian, then period. Just so we are clear, that was an interview clip uploaded by Stormy of Cleo, who's also Ice Spice close friend. And with that clip, Stormy wrote, this is Cleo, the girl she chose to be her best friend to the public, when in reality, it was me behind the scenes. Cleo and her are not really best friends. Isis has always hated Cleo, but she used her so she could appear closer to blackness. She also lied about being Nigerian. She stole that from me. Stormy was asked, why are you only saying something now? She responded, because unfortunately, I thought she was a real friend. I've known her since we were 13. We went to the same grade school in high school. Sacred Heart in Yonkers, New York. We met in 8th grade. She was my high school bully. I forgave her at the high school because she apologized for bullying me. She only tried to rekindle with me when I started doing music and got some motion. She used my connections and resources to make her way to the top and pretended to be my friend. She forced everyone in her life to sign an NDA, including me, but the only person I'm signed to is God, so I will speak the truth. She then released screenshots of text messages she sent to Ice Spice. You can pause to read if you want to, but the short version is she confronted Ice Spice for rekindling a friendship with Lucy. This is after, according to Stormy, Ice Spice came clean about she, Lucy, and someone named Trail egging Stormy's home in the past, in which Stormy claimed Ice Spice threw Lucy under the bus. It said that she'd never be friends with Lucy again because Lucy is a bad person, according to Stormy. In those messages, she also accused Ice Spice of using her for her connections, in which she believes is the only reason Ice Spice rekindled their friendship. She continued, and the sad part is, I was too scared to put her in her place. I was afraid of her, but not anymore. Stormy was then asked if Ice Spice was colorist. Stormy replied, yes. To prove and back up her case, she released messages of Ice Spice. Ice Spice wrote, but then she'll be like, I'm dark skin, so I always have to work harder than everyone. Stormy wrote back, this is actually true, but only partially. Ice Spice replied, which I understand, but let's not act like she's not one of the chosen dark skins. Because she does benefit from pretty privilege, still in for being skinny. On top of accusing Ice Spice of colorism she also accused ice spice of being a fat phobic she wrote she is also fat phobic and many other things and by the way i'm only telling you guys about one percent of it believe it or not this is nothing peep shea butter community she is referring to dark skin so here's the text from ice spice that stormy is talking about ice spice wrote laugh out loud like i wish i could fight that why dick the shea butter twitter community praying on my downfall she also got in contact with ice spice alleged boyfriend who was supposed to be her producer ryan and she wrote him isis cheated on you with tj in 2022 and lied to your face about it then she had the audacity to sing about it on gangsta boo the song you produced asked her about it she was in love with him for almost a year i'm sorry it happened the night she slept in TJ's bed while you were in the house. EJ Riot is her producer and boyfriend since 2019. He was the real mastermind behind her career and the one who pushed her to rap. She cheated on him with TJ and then rapped about it on their song together. If you don't believe me, just go back and read the lyrics to Gangsta Boo. But this time, read carefully. They were talking about him. She knows no loyalty. Not even to the only person who has always been there for her, Riot. Isis did everything in her power to make sure my career would never take off. She did everything she could possibly think of and more but i'm not afraid of her anymore this is the truth by the way guys don't worry about the hate i'm getting because the only people hating me are the bar who i don't give a flying about Nicki Minaj is also evil and the barbs hating don't even know that Isis only used her for a feature that's why she attacked Lotto too Lotto has always been her biggest nightmare in competition she was jealous of her for years because Lotto is who Isis was pretending to be she purposely used Nicki so she could get a feature and surpass Lotto and she used Nicki and the barbs to do so but keep defending her Lotto rose to fame because of her talent and talent only Isis rose to fame because she sold her soul she knew she would never have a fraction of the amount of talent Lotto has so she attacked her on purpose to get a Nicki feature so the barbs would turn on Lotto. It hurt her career because Lotto is a rapper and they had the same fan base.